Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from Western Kentucky and we are back with our playthrough of XCOM Enemy Within featuring the Long War mod. Uh, we have in front of us a covert extraction and guess what, our last mission couldn't have come at a better time because guess who we have on this mission? We have uh, General Peter Van Dorn as our newest infantrymen, I was complaining last mission about my shortages of gunners and infantrymen, and guess what? Uh, Specialist Friendly, Freaky Friendly, has filled the void of gunner also. So we have both an infantryman and a gunner helping us on this distraction, along with Babe the Bambino Ruth as our scout, and an untypical um, soldier selection for a mission extraction. Uh, but we brought along a Martina, the Brat Navratilova, as our rocketeer. Notice she's not carrying any extra rockets, just the one base rocket that comes with her rocket launcher. So her mobility is a little down, not what you always want on an extraction team. But this is what I've decided to go with. Um, not waiting any more time for some others to become unfatigued just going with what I had available so thank you Van Dorn and uh, Freaky Friendly for being available to help us out so we at least have a decent enough team to take out urban blocks several buildings and a large combat zone that's what we had last time although I'm figuring it's probably going to be a different map this time let's get in there and find out if we can do the extraction Okay, here we go. We have a lead regarding an exalt cell operating in Brazil. We'll need to ensure our operative safety in order to secure the necessary data. The old liquor store map. I'm trying to remember how this one plays as an extraction. Wow, depending on how it's spread out, it can be kind of a longish map. So let's get in there and find out our starting position. One of our covert operatives was nearly successful in hacking a series of Exaltcom relays when enemy forces moved into the area. If we're going to have any chance of recovering that data, we'll need Strike One to provide protection while the operative finishes hacking the remaining arrays. If we lose the operative, we won't be able to recover the intel. All Objective right. updated. Not the greatest as far as cover goes for us standing out here in the parking lot depending where Exalt comes from. However, I've seen worse uh, distribution of arrays uh, and given Odelia's range, um, I don't see hacking as going to be a big issue here. We'll be able to hack the two and then hopefully get out. I really should not have to push very far forward with my soldiers to set up any kind of perimeter here uh, against exalt forces that's kind of what i'm thinking so um why don't we see about setting up um <clears throat> martina we'll just kind of get you front and center and see if our little minor perimeter gets Roger. us Tracking. contact no kind of thinking about putting van dorn down over on this car over here uh, that's stretching the perimeter a little bit, and I'm wondering if we'll gain contact because of it. Um, I think what I'll do, though, is get uh, Glenn friendly over this way for some suppression potential. And we got Babe Ruth. In fact, Babe Ruth, why don't we peek you up here, and if we have to get out of a tight spot, we'll have your lightning reflexes available. Aye, aye, Glenn. All right, so we did not activate Approaching the enemy. Now. This could be like one of the quickest potential. The way I'm looking at this map and the way I'm looking at Odelia's um, abilities over here, I'm thinking, I mean, heck, I can almost come over here, hack now, <clears throat> boom, and get halfway to the next encoder. Next turn, boom, hack the encoder, 
and get halfway to the exit point and boom, get everybody out. This is going to be like... <laughs> I mean, that's that's what it's looking like right now for us. So, uh, so we just make it happen or should we... Let, let's do it this way. We will move Odelia close to the on edge. The on the move. And uh, we'll just kind of hunker down for the moment because we don't need to use up her ammo yet. And we'll put everybody else on overwatch of some kind, I'm guessing. Target. I'm your commander. Except we can steady a rocket. Rockets do sometimes come in handy even against exalt. Now if this had been a covert um, the, the data one where we have the full team and the full forces, I might have gone for some um, although I don't know if I've seen Exalt using uh, laser weapons yet, so it's maybe not in my interest to even worry about um, trying to capture with uh, the arc thrower any Exalt. But the benefit of capturing uh, or at least uh, stunning those Exalt when they start getting better weapons is I will then gain those weapons from them. So uh, that's something to think about, but I'm not, I'm not worried about any kind. Capture on this one. Listening, listening, nothing, nothing. Nobody, nobody. And I'm not feeling the need to move anybody. So let's get over here, Odelia. This may be... Let's, let's tr prove me right and show how easy this mission is going to be. Let's come down here, hack the relay. Heading to him now. Some activations, but not to worry. Uh, Never uh, fear. Operative in position to begin the hack, Commander. We just have to activate the relay to acquire the data. Let's acquire the data. Our operative decrypted some of the Exalt data and temporarily disrupted their communications. That ought to slow them down. Now we just need to find. And an Odelia, I think relay. we're safe just running you all the way over here because they aren't going to be able to shoot at attention. you anyway, right? Probably activate some more. Yep. Now, just to have a little fun, and since uh, I have the rocket, do I have the range on the rocket? I sure as heck do. And I have decent scatter on the rocket, so let's just kind of send a welcome rocket down here to the exalt. Bringing the pay. Lighten Martina's load so she can get out of here. There we go. Car is on fire. Those guys are going to have to move. In fact, I'm thinking we can uh, tie at least one of them down right now with a little freaky friendly Ready fire. Yeah, in fact, uh, is there any one of them that looks a little scarier than the other? The Rocketeers in the back. So we'll see if we can't put a little suppression on the Rocketeer. Keep him locked down by the car there. There we go. Cutting the grass. I'm gonna play it a little bit as if we aren't gonna get out of this or we can't get out of this. Now right here, it's a double move here. I wonder if moving Van Dorn here, that should still allow me to make it out in a double move. So let's move Van Dorn up just a little bit. Closing on target. And we'll take a pot shot at the other exposed guy right here. Now one thing I forgot to mention when we were loading these guys out is General Van Dorn came with built-in promotion. So as uh, infantry, he automatically comes with steadfast. So that first promotion perk, instead of getting executioner, which is a little disappointing, he's gotten the steadfast perk automatically given to him once I chose of infantry so it's not necessarily bad if I get some more promotions available that could help him become very successful with along with my three medics maybe just have one infantry this time uh, as some kind of an officer let's see if you can hit Van Dorn for your worth there we go get a little experience out of this thing right and then we'll bring you, uh, Babe Ruth, we'll bring you right up to this corner. Cover our retreat. 
you should have the mobility to be able to get out of here from there also. And we'll just overwatch. I see some reloads in their future. Back. She's not falling back. There's a reload. He's going to run. Oh, and he missed. So he may get lucky and get away from that burning vehicle. No, he just moves farther way. along the burning vehicle. What? <laughs> what a doofus. <laughs> I think we've seen the last of that exalt very shortly. Let's see if the car explodes this turn. Nah, he got lucky. That car didn't explode yet. Ah, there we go. <laughs> exalt doesn't train their rocketeers very well, do they? Okay, let's get Odelia moving on out. A boomity boom right here. We can get there in a blue move. Isn't that amazing and wonderful? Let's get the last hack of our mission and information that we need. That's the boomity last boom of the hack, release, Commander. We've and got we can get data. you running we very get well. The to the evac zone. New objective received. Okay, in fact, let's just make sure everybody's got a yellow move. Everybody's got a yellow move. Everybody, Babe Ruth, you're the last one to check. Yeah, everybody can get out from where they are. So, Adelia, it's just a matter of running you up a little bit, and I know once we get you retreated a little bit, you'll be able to reach we'll it no problem with your range and we'll just keep a few overwatches see if they want to move up on us the relay is hacked so I don't have to worry about shots from them they're too far away to throw any grenades I believe so we'll just kind of overwatch see if we can gain any more experience for our soldiers here before we extract it's kind of a little ho-hum kind of feeling here isn't it on this mission too easy peasy the way it's laid out <laughs> not a good place for you to drop guy <laughs> now he's off camera I wonder if he got hit oh, we got a bunch of them right nearby so they're coming in too little too late yeah so that guy did get hit he, he the shots happened off camera, but uh, he's definitely out of action. So first of all, let's just get out of here. We're kind of outnumbered, not in great position, and they can start firing back now. And there's no reason at this point with my barracks the way it is to play that game right now. Our field operative has reached the extraction point with the data, Commander. Strike one can either stay and clear out any other exalt forces in the area or head to the evac point for We're going to choose extraction. not to do the clearing. We have a new I know objective. some of you at home are hollering, wimp, wimp, but no. It's called smart. It's the way we need to play it based on the condition of our barracks right now. And uh, so we're going to play it safe and just get the information we needed and get the hay out of here. Uh, in fact, why don't we just take a shot and see if we can get an extra kill off of this mission. Nice, Martina. And let's extract our units. So it says terrible, but I, I, ca I consider this a resounding success. We needed nobody's injured, and boy, oh boy, is that what we need these days. So fatigue four or five days. That's the, the like that. unfortunate. You know, I chose not to bring my one remaining officer medic that could have reduced that fatigue because I figured there's only four soldiers, and in case we get another mission popping right up right away, I decided to hold that medic in reserve for a larger number of troops and impact their fatigue. So if we don't get a mission right away, well, I guess I could have used my medic after all. But I'm kind of playing that something up, something's going to come up quick. I'm playing it safe, uh, and there's my decisions. Um, Odelia has also gotten out. No, no promotions anywhere. So new tel new intel is in the database. Credit reward 150. Panic reduced by one in Brazil. Not that that matters so much. Um, we got our exalt intelligence. Intel Recalculating possible exalt facility locations. Okay, so we're looking at June 20th. So sitting around, you go that six, seven days. So sitting around the 26th, 27th, we want a new scan. 
Now I'm making note of this, but by the time I record my net mission farther ahead, <laughs> I will have probably forgotten and don't misplace the note that I have that'll remind me and I'm gonna have to pause and go back and look. When did I say I needed to scan again? Oh boy, oh boy. So covert operations have us, oh look at that, Brazil isn't gonna leave us quite yet. They're hanging in there. They are no longer panicked. We got them unpanicked before the end of the month. How about that? I think uh, aliens are going to start focusing back on Brazil again, don't you? <laughs> uh, I felt like they were going to start focusing over here in Asia uh, based on early early signs, but I, I have a feeling they're going to go right back to South America and try to take that, and that's fine as long as they keep their attentions off North America because that's where I need to get to. Now with my credits, there's definitely something I want to do, and that is get into engineering, build my facilities, and I want to build that satellite uplink right now. Uh, the reason I'm so anxious to expand over there is the continent bonus, which gives us uh, reduced costs with our air game. And that allowed me to, as I'm looking to perk up my air game a little bit, um, hopefully that's gonna reduce some costs for me. So that's what I'm thinking. Let's get this satellite uplink built so we can cover the US. Of course, we got 21. Oh my goodness, 21 days to wait before that's a reality. Feels good that we're starting construction, but oh my gosh, 21 days. Okay, so 107 credits left. I think what I'm going to do is take a look and build buy items and see if I have anything pressing right now. We have more phalanx armor I could build. Don't have enough for another laser cannon. I need 150 there. I'm definitely going to need some more at some point. I do have an alloy shiv available, but the cost on that is 236. I'd like to get one in my barracks just to have it as an option. Uh, but we're going to have to wait till we get a little more funds. Um, and let's see, is there any other? Any other? Let's just double check. I might want to get one more alloy plating. And I'm almost thinking, since we've had one go damaged already, one more arc thrower. Um, if I do that, well, that I don't have enough. That The arc thrower alone is going to throw off my credits and not leave me with enough credits. But I'm almost feeling like I've got to get some captures going. I feel like I'm falling behind on the capture front. So we're going to manufacture an arc thrower. I'm going to make that choice. And then we're going to see if I can sell enough so I can get one more alloy plating. I'm gonna not spend the money on phalanx armor at the moment. I'm gonna kind of reserve armor money other than that plating. So 33, I need like a number, another 20 bucks if, if my math is correct. Let's do five Thin Men corpses. There's 15 of it, and let's do five floater corpses. And we have our money. Now let's get in there and build that one more vest I want to build. There, alloy plating right there. We're going to manufacture that. All right, and that's it on the building front for the moment. Let's see what we have available in the foundry. All my wish list items that I would love to be able to build. Uh, ammo conservation obviously is the big baby here, but I don't have, not gonna be able to get that for a while because of lack of muton corpses, let alone money. Money I can always come up with, but the muton corpses, not so much. So uh, <clears throat> we obviously can get enhanced ballistics. Mag pistol upgrade, none of those are very expensive. Uh, when we start looking at ballistics, I'm wondering, will that, will that, I know it's not going to apply towards the lasers, but will it apply to our next level of weaponry? Is that considered uh, more mag or, or ballistic style weapons? Anyway, we'll think about it. I'll see if I can't read something, check a little something. And let's see what, what just a reminder, advanced body armor is only three days away also. So yeah, any more money after this is going to go into higher level armor, not the phalanx armor. So I'm glad I didn't spend any more there. And our aircraft list, we got one in one day. We've got one with one coming. 
and uh, three days we got another one then we're just out of aircraft for a heck of a long oh wait 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 I saw the 20 but it's only 20 hours so in a matter of three days we'll be okay ish notice how I add the ish at the end okay ish <laughs> um, and at that point, I'll see if we can figure out who it would be best. I think I have one more laser cannon ready that I could, let's check. Yeah, I do have one more laser cannon that I can outfit on a aircraft, but I don't want to do it now and take all Midas Akamura out of the game when I'm just getting them back. So we'll wait till we have a few more aircraft in the bay before we do that. So anyway, looks like I can see where we're going. Let's get back out there and See what our next mission is going to be. All right, request from India. We can sell some Alarium for cash. And with armor coming up, I'm tempted to do that, even though I'm, it's going to drop me below 300 in Alarium. And I'm kind of thinking that may not be the wisest move in the world. And since it's just for cash, if it, it's different. If, if, if I was looking at engineers and scientists, I have ways to come up with cash, and I don't want to dip into my Illyrium. I'm getting... We're getting close to mid-game. And I'm just going to hang on to the Illyrium right now. I'm not going to dispatch it right now. For better or worse, I'm going to hang on to it. And our laser cannon. Oh, we have another one. So we're going to have to definitely see about outfitting our aircraft and getting us whipped into shape up there. I'm not going to sign anything new right now. We're getting soldiers returning from fatigue as we scan. And advanced body armor is done. Let's assign new research. Carapace armor. There we go. There's a nice level of armor for us. It was designed to offer substantially better protection against the alien plasma weaponry through the use of their alloys. So I can't wait to get some of that built and into use for our protection because um, our barracks need a little extra protection at this point in the game. New foundry project is available. Uh, mechanized unit defenses for when we get our shiv built. Kestrel armor, it's a suit that combines lightweight body armor with an integrated grappling hook. So we have available with this, once we build it, uh, the ability to get someone up higher, namely perhaps a sniper or someone of that like to, to high ground. Okay, where are we at and how do we want to proceed? I'm kind of thinking that this medium that gave us some trouble earlier, it's time to get the Raider research so we can hit better on it and kind of played, played wreaked havoc, or actually, Shot down one of my one of my interceptors due to my sloppy play, but I think it's time to get the analysis done on that raider, and then we'll work on some of these others along here. It's only a three-day project, so that's not going to take too much time for us. Let's get out back there, back out there, and start scanning. Not a lot of missions early on. Uh, now I can sell some meld for money. And meld's sitting over 340. I'm almost feeling a little more comfortable with my level of meld at the moment. I'm gonna dispatch a little meld for some cash. Cause we're gonna need that cash for a scan. We're up to the 23rd, 26th, 27th is about when we wanna scan for some more exalt activity. Let's see what else we can find. I'm surprised the air game has not come back to haunt us. And now we have the research done on that medium raider. So let's get in there and assign some new research. So we should have better abilities uh, to hit this thing and gain more alloys and Illyrium when we salvage them. So that's actually very positive for us. And what do we want to do next? Experimental warfare. Xenogenetics, alien computers, boy oh boy oh boy, Illyrium is slow, now that'll chew up some of our Illyrium right there, 
And we also have some quick autopsies to be able to get done. Um, kind of thinking I'm going to squeeze in the experimental warfare here. I feel a little eliminated, uh, uh, limited in our foundry, and I'm, I'm trying to remember what this unlocks specifically and I'm hoping it'll unlock some more potential foundry projects that uh, I'm going to be more interested in so I could be totally wrong on this so we'll find out in about what five days but that's what I'm going to go with let's get out there and find a mission there we got an abduction coming up and Intel reports heavy UFO activity over Germany, so maybe they're focusing their efforts in Europe. Who knows? Kind of keeping our eye on these uh, reports down in the lower left help give us a little bit of an idea where they might be focusing. Let's see what kind of an Commander, abduction we've got. We're tracking several reported abductions via and the Holocaust. I'm in Germany. I've got the coordinates locked in. It's moderate, so we know we got to be careful on the moderates. We can hit easily those pods of five. I'm going to have to put together a good team on this. I don't want to be caught flat-footed on this one. Um, let's see what kind of a map it's going to be. Urban close quarters. Expect contact shortly after touching down. So this sounds like it could be a challenge for us, but uh, hopefully we're up to it. And so this is Zigzag Zag signing off. Come join me for the next mission. Um, see how we do on this moderate. Today was a nice easy breezy. It's nice to have a few of those sprinkled in every now and then. Uh, so Zigzag Zog signing off from Western Kentucky. Thank you so much for watching.